for today is probably going to be a long session, probably close to uh, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour, uh, where we go through all the aspects of graph. Um, I divided up the lesson in little pieces so that we later can put it on YouTube where people can actually go back to certain lessons and try with our sample data and graph at hand, uh, do what I did today. Yeah, so, well, the highlights are uh, of our tool graph is to navigate large and very complex graphs in a user-friendly way. I can't even imagine sometimes how other people go through the contents of the triple, triple stores without an official tool like Graph. Um, we'll show, and this is a, a, a very new thing that just came out in the latest version in 5.0, but we can actually now do work in the graph view on the screen, find very interesting patterns on the screen, and then if we see an interesting uh, uh, pattern, we can highlight the notes in the pattern and actually turn that automatically into a Sparkle or Polo query. Um, so that's one of the new features I'm going to show you today. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you how you can find links between notes automatically. So instead of clicking around in your graph trying to find your way from one place to the other, you can do discovery by just uh, taking two nodes and ask the database to connect the nodes. And then we'll uh, play a little bit of Prolog to show how you can also use Prolog to explore the graph. And then some other things that people have asked us for. One thing is we now have, we can, we can start a graph and then within graph start an HTTP server and then you can write applications that actually control graph uh, remotely. And you can do that from every programming language. So it's a new, very interesting feature that we have. And then another thing that a lot of people ask for is that we want to show pictures for nodes. And so at the end of the demo, I'm also going to show you how to do that part. Okay, so now what did I do? I divided up uh, this webinar for today in 11 short lessons. Yes. First, I'm going to make sure that you know uh, what kind of graphs we have and what we have to download for the, uh, the webinar today. And I'm going to show you the basics of managing triple stores, so how you open one, import triple, display triples, and how you create indices. Um, then I go to the graph view, which is the screen that will be in most of the time, yeah, where you can look at your triples uh, uh, and see them as a graph, so as nodes and links. Uh, but sometimes you really want to see your subjects, or your, your triples as, as objects, and then you have a good, well, then the table view is a great way to look at them. Sometimes when you have deep hierarchies in your data, and while navigating your hierarchy, you want to keep the context, then the outline view is the really handy way to go through your tool. Then we have several ways to build queries. So I'm going to show you the, uh, the query view, where you can write Sparkle and Prolog in text. Um, and then we already for some time had a visual query builder, where we just can use point and click to build queries without actually writing much code and just basically find nodes, link it together, and then turn that automatically in Sparkle queries. And then the highlight is uh, official discovery, where in the graph view, we, we, we just manually and automatically um, go around in the triple store to find things that interest us. And once we find that, we can codify that and automatically turn it into queries, and then save those queries and, and see how many times this interesting pattern that you see on the screen actually happened in your database. Yeah. Then lesson nine is to control graph to rest, so we showed that a little bit. Uh, Ten is a little database with pictures on notes. And finally, uh, for those who are interested, I will start up the server edition of a little graph, and then again connect graph. Yeah. But most of my lessons will actually be done with the standalone graph. 